entertaining game at United Park, which provided five goals in all. There were several more chances. Shamrock Rovers knew they needed to win to stay in touch at the head of affairs, and Sean Heaney, following his scoring exploits against Bray, almost made it two and two. Rovers completely dominated the opening quarter hour and continually stretched Rada with good vision from Eamon Zaid here. Finn had time to steady himself and then blasted it past Dave Ryan. The keeper really had no chance given the power in that shot. Drogheda have been unlucky of late, but their response was noteworthy. Stephen Marr and Declan O'Brien combined well in attack, and when the ball was eventually worked to Cahill Brady, he got by Heaney. He supplied the ammunition. However, Gary O'Neill failed to supply the finish. O'Neill did, however, provide the platform for Drogheda's equaliser. He was to work his way goal side of the Rovers' captain, Conor Kenna. He unwisely tugged and gave away the spot kick, with the two conceding booking. Gavin Brennan has assumed the captaincy at Drogheda. He showed his leadership qualities by smashing home the spot kick via the aid of a post. Brennan then had a chance for a second for the home side. Stephen Marr it was who would float in the inviting cross. Brennan got ahead to it, but this time the woodwork conspired against him. Rovers regrouped after the turnaround and played with a little more fluidity. Kilduff played this ball onto Madden and he measured it perfectly for Eamon Zaid, who netted then against his former employers for a 2-1 lead for the Rovers. The visitors soon made it 3-1 and effectively put the game out of the reach of Drogheda. Again, Madden pushed forward and linked well with Finn. He teed it up for Zaid, whose miscontrolled shot rolled kindly for Kilduff to slide in under the keeper. But Drada, hoping to avoid a fourth consecutive defeat to Rovers, battled back again. Persistence from Gary O'Neill got him space. He floated in the cross, but Kieran McGuigan's thunderous shot rebounded off Madden's head. Rovers holding out. But they were to concede three minutes from time. Player of the month, Gary O'Neill was again centrally involved, picking out the substitute, Philly Hughes, who benefited from the slip of McGuinness to reduce the deficit. A composed finish from the frontman, but time was against them. Drogheda, though, would have one last chance. It was an all-up attack in injury time. Rovers, they were to dither over the clearance, and eventually it came for the Drogheda defender, Paul Andrews. He wasn't really comfortable on the edge of the box, and the shot never troubled Barry Murphy, as Rovers held out for a 3-2 victory. Performance-wise, delighted. But it's a results business, and, you know, um, we've gone down 3-2. We've gone down fighting, but... Things could have been different in the first half when we were dominant in the game. Um, and just, we're not getting the breaks at the moment. And that's just the way it is. We started quite well. Got a great goal, Ronan's goal. Smasher, wasn't it? Um, then we dropped off. We, we gave gave away a poor goal, poor poor penalty for us to give away. Um, they get back in it and there's not really much in it in the first half. But then the second half, I thought we came out and we were we were a better team. Then we, we give away another poor goal. We make it edgy at the end. Um, but we, we got there, we got there, the guys dug in and they done really well.